Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. For some Gruul midrange, we are testing out what deck I want to play during the Mythic Championship qualifier this weekend. I'm going to be streaming it uh, live at 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's whenever I'm going to play it. And we've so far determined it's not going to be four color Dread Horde <laughs> there. Um, not even putting up that video on YouTube is pretty pretty fast and everything and decided we're not playing that deck so um let's go on to the next one so i think it's going to be one of one of these last three decks and i really like the look of this gruel mid-range list so basically what we have here is we have uh, a, an aggressively slanted gruel deck that has some good stuff against uh, little teferi that's why we're playing thorn lieutenant and legion war boss which are cards that you don't always play main deck in gruel I think both of these cards are uh, really strong against Little Teferi. And right now, one of the decks that I'm a little bit more worried about than others with this matchup is Mono Red. And I think Thorn Lieutenant can really help out the Mono Red matchup also being in the main deck over Harpooner. Last time we played this, I, I had a couple Harpooners main. So I'm throwing the Harpooners in the sideboard instead. <clears throat> and then I'm also going with the Ripjaw Raptor in the sideboard for that red matchup as well. But yeah, we're just trying to curve out, get to these uh, very powerful Planeswalkers. Sarkin and Nyssa are both just awesome. Uh, Chandra does her job of getting that card advantage and everything. Um, yeah, this deck's just pretty solid. And let's go ahead and give this a try here. Lava Coils are in the sideboard. We have our, our main deck burn spells are ones that can go upstairs. Yeah, it's over there. Moment of Craving has an animation now, really. Dang, we dropped from 100 to 500 with that 03. Oh well, we'll try to work our way back up. <laughs> yeah, this deck does have a, a ton of these. They're not like foils. I don't well, like they're foil is like an easy word to say. Um, but they are like card style cards. Cards with card styles. Have a bunch of styles. Almost all of them, just a few cyborg cards don't have them and the basics. Can't wait till we have Can't wait till we have basic lands that have card styles. <laughs> White screen guards. Attacking the new Chandra with Shalai feels me with so much satisfa satisfaction. Seeing Chandra just blow herself up because there's no other legal targets. <laughs> right? Yeah, Shalai is a really good um, foil to Chandra for sure. <laughs> yeah, with with the four color command, we lost to Immortal Sun for two games, and then we lost to Mass Manipulation a couple of games in the second match, and then the third match I just wasn't competitive at all. I was just kind of over it and kept two really, really bad hands against Gruul and just got ran over both times and wanted to move on with my life. So the reason why I'm willing to make this trade is because uh, it will help, like, getting that flyer out of there will help us untap with the Sarkin. I fight with 
dragon's rage! <laughs> Magnificent! And so we're playing one of these four decks on Saturday, so y'all get to vote also. If you're just kind of joining in now, you can vote there of what deck you want me to play on Saturday. So this is a 23 land deck. So hopefully with six lands already, we can stop drawing those. We'd like to see our any of our Planeswalkers, of course. <laughs> yeah, I may not do exactly what the the poll says, but as far as the voting goes, I will consume you. Are you ready? And of course we drew a seventh land. <laughs> We've had a lot of luck the last like five or six days. We've been winning a ton, so <clears throat> today may be our bad luck day, and that's fine. Hopefully get the bad luck day out out of the way before Saturday. You've played fifteen games in the that free event and you haven't won any of them? Man, I'm sorry, Annie. Um, don't activate the whatever thing very often. I I would not act. I would not recommend activating Momir before like turn four at the minimum for like four at the minimum. But Come on. really, for like uh, for five is like the least you want to activate for. You want to activate it for like five, six, seven, and then eight. Just activate it for eight a few times. I'm known for my excellent timing. Let's try this. So if you have your planeswalkers, try to play those earlier, and then wait till later to activate that thing. Hey, over here! This is just gonna be bad for you. They are coming. I think it it's, seemed like it has less luck than the regular Momir because of the Planeswalkers. Like you have, you know, you have a lot more decisions to make with like when to play Planeswalkers, when not to, what what activations to do, all that kind of stuff. It felt a lot less luck than old Momir. Old Momir is just you just get a creature on like turn four, then get a creature on Here five, and you go. just gotta hope your creatures are better. But like this has a lot more play to it with the Planeswalkers. I felt. I just played three of them earlier and won all three. And I don't know. It didn't feel like I had. It definitely has some. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously it has a lot of RNG and stuff like that. I mean, it's it's a Momir event, but I don't think it has as much as regular Momir. That is possible. You can't. Yeah, you can. You can. That is possible. It's that you don't hit your land drops and everything. That's true. To them roar. All right, so I cannot save Sarkins. We're just not going to block. 
I need to find Shock and Lightning Strike to be able to go upstairs. I need like the Chandra to finish off our opponents. Would rather die than lose. We gotta just try to stay alive. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Having to win 15 is rough. Yeah, but you're also just getting free stuff. You don't have to. And it's, you know, you don't, you don't lose anything. You don't, you know, if you, if you do lose, you know, you're not, there's no risk or anything. And it's, it's just, if you, if you want to play it for, for some free stuff, you don't, you don't need to though. It's not like a necessity or anything. All right, so we'll try to take out Oketra here. Because it attacks the hardest. Opponent's playing so slow. Just do something. It honestly doesn't matter what you do. If you do something or do nothing, it really doesn't matter. It's just like, do I get some blockers to block and not die, or do I stay alive? Or do I, or do I die? Sorry. Wow, there's a deputy this whole time. Really? This was a waste of my time. That was a big waste of my time. All right, so Oketra, pretty broken, as we know. That's definitely the card that I'm the most scared of from their deck. Basically, the I don't, I think the rest of the deck, I think we should be able to be just fine against, but specifically Oketra. Um, you know, like they had turn four Oketra there because I I got rid of one mana creature, they played another. It's gonna be hard to beat. I don't. I don't have a ton that I want to sideboard. I don't want to bring in like a bunch of lava coils. Like those don't really kill Oketra. Fiery Cannonade can get rid of some mana creatures, but it's rid of my land war off too. I don't really like Thorn Lieutenant in this matchup. So maybe I play like another Chandra and a coil instead of the Thorn Lieutenants. So I'm going to do that. We're going to just try not to draw so many lands. Here in our 23 land deck, how we're hitting like our 8th land drop pretty easily. Can't really afford that. And that's what I get for complaining. Hmm. 
Thanks, Jeff. I think I'm going to lead with Phoenix and then play Chandra and take up Chandra where Chandra could hit a land drop. Hmm. Never mind. This gives me two chances. Like next turn, we have the draw step plus the tick up with Chandra next turn both to see if we can get that fifth land and be able to play Sarkin. Well, that was a disaster. You will feel the lick of me hold! Go, Sarkin, go. Come to me. I'm not gonna just play into a frilled mystic. Don't don't need to. Like they're they're obviously gonna have to like play stuff first and then whenever they do, then I'll play Phoenix. Bleh. Lyra Dawnbringer. Look to the skies. Admittedly, did not really consider Lyra Dawnbringer. All right, but deck, we need to stop drawing lands now, just like last time. When we hit that fourth land drop to slam Sarkin, that was good. But now the last two turns drawing land five, land six. So useless lands. Oh, not my day today. I don't see a reason to block. If we block, we can minus again. There's not... I guess... I guess... Yeah, I guess we block. I guess we could draw another Rekindling Phoenix that could protect Sarkin. The reason not to block is that I just get to start attacking like the next turn, because like now, now that thing is summoning Zik. We didn't get that four points of damage in last turn that we could have. Really solid hand for our opponent, though. The <clears throat> Prism Realms. The Dawnbringer. It's very good. 
exactly the cards that they probably wanted in this matchup. Shut us down. And no, I don't I don't have anything that's gonna kill this Lyra. I don't have like a collision. Oh, Ketra? I can't can't kill that card either. dead oh, like we have to draw <clears throat> we have to draw a shock and a lightning strike you know like back to back basically um the next two draw steps because we're we're dead before we draw three cards so i guess we, we get to jump block but You really fall a lot with these. We were at 100 at the beginning of the stream. Lose 4 down to 700. Almost 800. Alright, let's go. Let's go back no to Johnny. Friend of mine fights alone. Hey, Robbie. No, I have not seen Mono Red at all. Okay, we can deal with this. <clears throat> this could be good. I do like green red cards. Green red cards are pretty fun. Ah, there's mono red. So somebody was just asking about mono red, so it looks like this is our this is our first time playing against it today. Yeah, I've I've heard of. Yeah, there you go. Hey, what's up, Matthew? What? Not butter with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for that sub there, Whatnot Butter. The Mono White Angel List. Um. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of violence now. I think right now we're probably going with Grixis. We're seeing if if cruel or if they bant <laughs> is impressive enough to move away from Grixis, basically. So yes, I could have Domri fight Lava Runner, and honestly, that's what I probably that's what I kind of want to do. But the problem with that is if they have a lightning strike and they just lightning strike my lieutenant in response to the the fighting, then. Uh, we don't get anything from the fighting, of course, and our Domri is just really close to dying. Like they, then if they just do that and then into Chain Whirler, which looks like they're still going to do like the. Yeah, so the the fighting part didn't. Okay, they don't have Chain Whirler, but still Thorn Lieutenant using two burn spells. That's good. And War Boss didn't do a whole lot here. And basically, I wanted to get Domri in play, start the loyalty ticking up, uh, basically make them. Oh, never mind. They're going to ignore Domri. I say, 
see if they start using stuff on Domri. Ah, uh, makes sense. Spellbreaker's nice. Yeah. Thorn Lieutenant getting two burn spells out of the hand. We'll take that. And Domri's going to trade with a Lava Runner and a Shock, so it trades with two resources as well. We will rise again. We are the many. So we want we want to just whittle down their resources. I took out the second Elder Spell from from the sideboard for the Unmored Ego. I think we're already just, like, we're, we have enough removal for the Super Friends lists. But I need the Unmored Ego to deal with, um, to deal with Command the Dreadhorde. Because it's, it's the Command the Dreadhorde, like, that specific card. Gotta have it. Plus, Nexus is a little bit on an uptick right now, and I could see Nexus being a little popular this weekend, as people are. I think like this is a good reason, to, good sorry, good weekend to play Nexus, where people aren't as focused on it. So we're taking out the Llanowar Elf. Change this up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take out Domri. Oh, take out Warboss. Put a Domri back in. I don't really want this many, like, fives. So I'm just going to take out a Chandra. F2 Domri. No, we don't really need Domri. One Domri. Pretty easy to beat Silent Gravestone with the command deck. The Teferis and the Vraskas all get rid of it. The only game that I actually won earlier today with Four Color Dread Horde, we only won one game in those three matches, and it was the game our opponent played Silent Dreadstone, or fi Silent uh, Gravestone. That was the only game out of the seven we won. Let's see. I kind of want to keep this because Spellbreaker is one of my very best cards against Mono Red. Five card hand is going to be tough. But this one has potential, like with the scry and everything and being on the draw. I'm going to try this out. Ugh. Because obviously having like a coil for turn two, like they go turn two steam, can we have a coil for it? That's that's something that's really useful. And then having the spell breakers also. Obviously if we don't draw lands, then we, we just don't get to play. But this is a hand that can win. And I want to try, you know, like that's always a thing to be thinking about is can your hand win? All right, they're likely going to play Chain Whirler next turn, so I'm going to save this coil for Chain Whirler. Get 
that out of there. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, you can bounce the gravestone before you cast command, or you, know, you can have Teferi tuck it, or, or the little brass to kill it. Certainly answers. Another Chain Whirler is kind of rough, because Chain Whirler is a card that's difficult to block. Alright, their hand was really good. I don't want to have this many Sarkins in, but I don't really want to play Domri either. Why would you assume people need to cast Little Teferi and Command the Dreadhorde in the same turn? I guess I can play some Harpooners instead of Sarkins. Or Nissas. Definitely Chandra. All right, game three. Basically, what I'm saying is, while Sli Silent Gravestone can slow down Command the Dreadhorde, don't expect it to just win the match for you. Don't expect it to just win the game. It doesn't. You need, you know, you need other stuff and everything. But it can be. Could be a, a good tool to slow the command the dread horde down. In the game that our opponent played the silent gravestone against us, who just had just had explore creatures and just killed them with explore creatures. Um All right, hopefully no lava coils over there. We don't have our own lava coil to get daredeviled. And I don't have anything, like this is definitely better on, on the play because not playing anything until turn three can be kind of rough. I would like to draw a shock or a lightning strike, ideally. Something to kill a steamkin, but not really a lava coil because I don't want them to have daredevil lava coil. So I'd, I'd like to draw a shock or lightning strike, hopefully. Well, we'll take that. So Brontodon's gonna require a Lava Coil, and I think that Spellbreaker is a better card than Brontodon, so they do have the Lava Coil. I'd rather them uh, coil the Brontodon. No, I won't be doing any delay for the MCQ. Steamkins are going to kill me. Thanks. Yeah, so I'll, I'll start it at 10 um, on Saturday, and, you know, we'll play until, you know, we'll see if we win eight before we lose our two. So it'll be early start time there on Saturday. 
But besides that, I'm, I'm basically going to be taking the weekend off. I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow or Sunday or a different stream on Saturday. So we're I'm basically going to be taking the weekend off. I have a friend coming into town and everything, but I'm going to I'm going to do that MCQ event. So it's it's not single elimination. It's a little event where you just you get basically like the constructed event where you play until you win five or lose two. It's play until you win eight or lose two. And if you get the full eight wins, then you qualify for day two. And then and so if I do that, then I'll I'll stream day two also on Sunday. Yeah, so I'm, we're picking one of these decks here. Well, I don't. I'm not gonna pick the Command the Dreadhort deck. <clears throat> we're gonna pick one of those other decks, um, and letting y'all vote to kind of help help me decide. I'm not gonna just necessarily play automatically play whatever's the top vote getter. I like the mobilized district in this deck. I don't. I don't think it needs to be taken out because we don't have two red sources right now. <laughs> Thanks, Yud. What an incredible turn. So that was their turn for how much mana did they spend? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Did they play all of these this turn? I think so. I think they spent 19 mana on turn 4. And that's what we talk about with like standard it's who spends more mana is going to win so that's what the that's what the red deck's trying to do is spend just a ton of mana early on in the game and kill you before you get to spend enough mana to catch up All right, Owen two. Yeah, I have one on Mordigo in the sideboard instead of one of the Elder spells in the Grixis deck for the four color command matchup. Uh, why no Dreadhorde? Um, I don't know. It's just a super popular deck on everybody's radar. I think everybody's going to be trying to beat it this weekend. And I think it's, I don't think it's a bad deck at all. I think it's still, I think it's one of the very best decks. It's just not something, I don't know, not exactly something I really want to play. Why does Mono Blue not see much play nowadays? Um, the best matchups that Mono Blue had in the format, in the previous format, all got very good tools at beating Mono Blue. And it just doesn't really have good matchups, like very many good matchups anymore. No, I'm not playing Tibalt or Ashiok or anything like that. Just like Steamkin, Electromancer is a card that you really need to kill. And so that's been a struggle for us today. Oh, 
this uh I protect that which cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. So just used a couple lightning strikes. Play it on more. You've never seen anything like this. All right, Seely's not bad. You try my patience. Whoops. I meant to be taking up Nyssa. Click the wrong planeswalker there. I was just I was just focused on like my land situation of how I wanted to do this. Well, I guess I'm killing Sahili. I must accept defeat for now. No, I don't have a list online of when season start and end dates are on Arena. Um, that would be that would be in like the uh, maybe like the Arena forums or something. It also, like, if, if you're in the Arena client, if you go to your profile page, it tells you when the season ends, which I think is in, I think, because I saw it earlier today, I think it said eight days earlier today. And yeah, I, I do think it's always just first and last day of the month, isn't it? And yeah, the last day of the month in eight days. So yeah, I think it is just a monthly thing. Come on, listen, I will consume, no! We were going to be able to attack for 14 there. I was going to quite be lethal, but basically lethal. All right, so Coil, I mean, Daredevil is just awesome, but Coil is probably going to be good against the, the Arclight Phoenix deck. I think we want those. Ripjaw Raptor, yes, please. Harpooner, if they have drakes, sounds pretty good. Um, so what don't I want? I think War Boss dying to shock, being a two drop or a three drop dying to shock. Leave that on the bench. Um, Maybe I don't need eight removal spells here. We'll we'll trim one lightning strike. I like shock more than lightning strike because sh both of those like those are like what I want. I want to kill Electromancer and shock just does it more efficiently. And Thorn Lieutenant doesn't really block anything on the ground too much. We'll get rid of Thorn Lieutenant with bringing in the Harpooners. That looks reasonable to me. Why no Cinder Vines? Because it doesn't it doesn't kill anything. There's no artifacts and enchantments for it to kill. Um, I don't really want to play a card that's like two mana, deal a little bit of damage to them. I'd rather have things that affect the battlefield. It's Cinder Vines is an awful, awful card to draw in the late game. And on turn two, I'd rather be playing other things. I'd rather try to get ahead. Correct. Eastern time right now is 5 o'clock. Correct. A second one of those? It's annoying.
Yeah, Wizards is in Seattle. They use Pacific time. <laughs> Play Grill Dinos this weekend? It is pretty good. What? My hair is on fire. Sit Land. back and watch Ugh. it burn. So I'm gonna exile land off the top. That's awkward. I can't play Sarkin and shock the Electromancer, and I'm certainly shocking the Electromancer. It's a strange and magnificent world. The land shall conquer you. I'm, I'm definitely killing this Electromancer, so it's unfortunate we don't get to kill this, play the Sarkin also. with them ha being stuck on lands here. Definitely doing that. That finale card's really good. Ugh. So two... F Two uh, phoenixes. Yuck. I must seek comfort. So what happened to four color command? Uh, we lost one game. We lost two games, you know, in one match to <clears throat> Mass manipulation, we lost the other two to Immortal Sun. And then I, I didn't really want to play the deck too much anymore and just kinda kept some really bad hands for the third match and just got ran over by Gruel. Do y'all think that I should put that video up on YouTube of us going 03? I wasn't sure if I should or not. Just a fast video of. Me losing a bunch. The first two matches had some good games. The third one was just horrific. And it was just Let's me keeping completely unkeepable hands that didn't do anything and and then losing very quickly. Another day. So if they have absolutely nothing, <laughs> we can stay alive. Coming straight at ya. But all they need is just three spells. I mean, it's pretty hard for them to have absolutely nothing, considering they missed a land drops earlier.
I don't know how to do any uh, sway. I, I don't know how to do any video editing or anything like that. I, I'm not gonna. I don't. Yeah, that's it's not really on the on the table doing video editing stuff. Hey, what's up, Soul Farmer? I guess that's. So that would just be audio. I guess I would just be playing it on mute and then talking over it. But that, yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, Mortal Sun main deck is what got us in one of the matches. No, I think Chandra's. Yeah, Chandra's a good card, not just an aggro deck. Chandra's a good card, though. Like, any deck can play Chandra. It's card advantage, Planeswalker, any, any deck can play that. Hey, what's up, Budacris? Uh, Canthic, yet? Yeah. Or no, sorry, not. It wasn't Canthic. It was Jin. Asked you need to go eight one on Saturday to qualify for day two, correct? Or top one twenty eight. If there's not one hundred and twenty eight people that went eight one, or better than. The best seven, seven twos will go. Also, they'll fill out fill up 128 slots. Hey, soul farmer. Yeah, probably the Grixis discard. Yep, that's correct. We dock. Hmm. No land drop. Or was I just on the play? I guess I was just... Uh, I guess I was on the play. I should auto tap that better. If you think I'm crazy, wait to see my I've lived with animals my entire life. I really should auto tap that better. Actually. Saturday. Yeah, that was a nice to have shock there with my one mana remaining that I didn't use. That would have been nice. So I think now I'm going to play Phoenix. I think I was... If we would have had, like, that extra mana, I would have played Chandra. Um, oh. thing I was just talking about, Chandra. Uh, I wanted to play Phoenix. As I was just... I was just describing my line, and I just said the word Chandra, and so I just threw out Chandra. I wanted to play Phoenix that turn. Uh, I was just saying why I didn't want to play Chandra. Uh, I'm a mess. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? <laughs> Thanks, MTG gentlemen. Uh, 
that's the whole streaming and playing. Sometimes you just make mistakes and it happens. It's all good. Time I've been knocked about. Hmm. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. So I could have fought the Phoenix with this, but I could have just played Spellbreaker, fight Phoenix. Doesn't accomplish a ton for us, though. Yeah, that's an ouch. And destroy. All right, I'm gonna play one of these four decks, Budacris. That was the beginning of the stream, trying to decide which one. Obviously, four color Dreadhorde didn't do so good. Gruel Midrange is looking not good for us either, going 0 3. I was really looking forward to playing this deck. Today's just not my day, though. Not my day at all. Aw, oh, Wee Doc, thank you so much. You're the best MTG streamer so far. Well, thank you very much. All right, let's see what else we have here. Ooh, that smart it does. It's been our day today, flooding out with our 23 lane deck. Anyway, uh, I present to you my beautiful creation, four color angel deck. Had huge success with it. I'll allow you to completely change the sideboard. I hope you will love it. Okay, cool. Four color angels with command the dread horde. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um. We went from 100 to 99% to going 0 and 6 today. Wow. We'll see if something can go right for us. All right, cool. Is there any day, so we doc, so it'll be next week, um, whenever I get to it. So, you know, Monday through any day, is there any, what, what day do you want me to play it? And what time slot for second, third or fourth during the day? GG's face. I had, had some close ones there.
That one was over after stealing my Spellbreaker. I just drew some lands after that. Let's see. I think I should have taken out Domri. Domri was... Domri basically didn't do anything. Monday or Tuesday. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'll do Monday. Um, and I'll just do it second on Monday, since we are second right now. Yeah, this is this is a Citadel deck with Doom Whisper for sure. Doesn't really mean looks like I'm gonna win from here <laughs> thanks Gusta welcome to the stream How do we beat Citadel? <sighs> play Cinder no, probably don't play Cinder Vines. All right, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna take out War Boss against like all these other little creatures. Need Lava Coils for the Wild Growth Walkers. Brontodon can take out Citadel. My deck cannot beat Six Six Flyers as we have learned. Been losing to Crasises and Dawnbringers and all those kind of cards all day. To be fair, though, we've been losing everything, so. You know, all his hands missing is red mana. I don't think green white tokens is a very good deck, honestly. Uh, since like the beginning of Guilds of Ravnica, <laughs> haven't had very much what success any time I've played the deck. It just I think it's underpowered compared to everything else in the meta game. I don't think it's a very consistent deck with the low land count, and basically everything else goes over the top. So it's not a deck I like at all. Well, 
Need to set up their next draw with Doom Whisper. I can't kill it at all. Um, even if I could, they can bring it back with Soren. They're going to gain a lot of life with the lifelink there. All right, well, we went 0-4. Yeah, that's that's enough for girl midrange. Um, it's just been that kind of day. I don't I don't really think worse of this deck, but it's just been one of those kind of days where opponents, you know, like all those games, our opponents just have lots of good cards all the time, and we do not. Getting stuck on lands, or just drawing all of our lands. Just been one of those kind of days. Uh, we could have Collision Colossus in here for big flyers, if big flyers turn into being a real thing to be worried about. It's, I think that's a pretty... It's a, I think it's a somewhat rare occurrence to see those kind of flyers, and then also us not have anything. But yeah, if they have... If you're facing large flying creatures and you have nothing, then I guess you're going to be dying. And that's kind of what's been going on here. Oh well. Alright, so that's uh, Gruul Midrange. So if you are watching this video later on, on YouTube, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope it wasn't too bad. But that's it for Gruul Midrange, and I will see you for another video. Take care.